So this is a a new bike I picked up. Well, new to me, it's second hand. Uh, it's a specialised cube, Carmel. And the reason I liked it is the chest, the chain stay length is 20 inches long, 50 centimetres, uh, which is great for putting bags on. And I bought this rack here. Tortec rack, got that for five. I got I actually get three racks for a fiver, but the the arms weren't, weren't long enough, so I had to make these wee brackets to join onto them, just to so they fitted to keep the so the, the rack would sit uh, level. Uh, so when I got the bike, the guy who sold it, he didn't want it, he didn't like it, and. He took the seat post and the saddle and the two wheels and he sold me the rest for 30 pounds. I had a seat post and saddle and two wheels anyway. Uh, but it's an aluminium bike and quite honestly I don't really go for aluminium bikes. But this bike is surprisingly comfortable. I did a 35 mile the other day on it and I got off it and I didn't even know I was on a bike. So, I think it made a really good tourer. I'm going to put a front rack on it. I was going to change the forks to a solid fork, but I'll just keep that fork on it until it needs changed. It's a, a bit of excess weight, but it adds to the comfort slightly. So I'll put a front rack on there, and I can put the, uh, the bags on the front. This is one of the front bags that I made. Uh, made that out of canvas, and I, I want to show you these the the bracket system. These are the brackets. They're just wire brackets that get through the loops in the back here and hook on. And underneath, it's secured with a. I don't know if I can show you a cam a cam buckle. So if, anybody, if you go into the supermarket to get groceries and somebody comes by and whoop, wants to lift your bag it won't come off unless you either cut the, the strap underneath or loosen the cam belt and my wee alarm would be on the bike, on my turn bike so if you went like that whoop, the alarm would go off so, a bit of security so I'm just out trying the bike and I'm really enjoying that, this bike. The the wheels that should be on it, the cassette at the back should be a 13 to 34. That's the same as my touring bike. This one I took off a mountain bike and it's a 11 to 28 I think. Uh, I've not actually looked at it but it feels like 11 to 28. So, but you can still get up, well you probably got up all holes that you can get up with any other wheel. Uh, but I'm enjoying it, I think it's it's good. It's, if, it, if you didn't have these chunky tyres on it, and you put it into the 11, see on the front there's a 28, 38, 48. See if you're in the 48 and 11, that is quite fast. Uh, but mind you, you're in an, an upright position, so it's not going to be as fast as a, a racing bike or anything like that, but it's still pretty fast. Anyway, I'm enjoying a wee bike and I thought I'd make a wee video just to show yous. Uh, and I might modify it, totally change the look of, look of it, build into a tourer. Uh, but hey, uh, I'm going to enjoy it for a for now. Okay, bye. Oh, almost forgot. I was wanting to show you inside these bags. Uh, Cause I lined them. So these bags are totally lined with a a light a lightweight nylon. Yeah. So what would happen with these bags is 
They'll get wet, they'll get wet, they'll dry, they'll shrink. They'll get wet, they'll dry, they'll shrink a another wee bit. Uh, and that's when they'll start to get waterproof. But once they've got wet and dry and shrink, I can spray it then with uh, Fabsil to get a bit more waterproof, waterproof and, but everything will be kept in waterproof bags inside them anyway but they're nice, they're rugged I actually grazed it a bit on a rock but it uh, adds to the character and it's got the wee Made in Scotland badge so I like the bags that's the front bag, the back bags are a lot larger than them but the fit on that bike fantastic, the fit on the touring bike fantastic as well so they'll be the bags I take for my Inverness trip which should be the end of this month hopefully the end of this month au revoir